Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly reading for the week of August um, 15th and I want to say I did start the gem and runestone readings so if you haven't seen those check them out and I'm planning to rearrange the days here a little I wanted to do the um, on Wednesday the gem and runestone readings and no I'm sorry the card uh, reading that I'm doing today and on Thursday the gem and runestones and on Friday the coffee cup readings Anyway, let's get on to um, your reading for the week of August 15th. Okay. okay. Okay, Libra. All right. First of all, let's the feel I get here is one. There are some changes coming in, of course. In um, the previous readings I've done, too, I'm seeing a lot of you didn't get any reverse cards, but I'm getting. Well, you did. It's amazing because I don't do reverse cards. I always make sure they're in the upright position because I don't like to read them. Um, I don't think they should be forced. That's that's just the way I do it. And so, but if they do show up, there's a reason. So I do read them, and you do have one here. Anyway, let's get on to your reading. Well, there is some changes. It could be in financial, um, love life, or whatever love is to you, and some decisions here. Okay, so you're coming up with the death card, and that is saying that there is a change. Um, something is changing. Something new is beginning. It possibly could be with money and also with um, this could be dealing with um, cause you got the lover's card here too. So if there's changes coming in and it could be possibly affecting your love life or whatever you call up, or it could be um, contracts, anything that you're like practically married to job, whatever that is to you. Um, and it could deal with money and um, uncertainty about money too, or there could be a breakthrough about an ongoing money issue here. That's a possibility too. Then you have the um, Eight of Clubs, and it's telling me that you're a little bit confused, a little bit worried about um, some situation in your life. And we got the Seven of Spades. This is telling me a secret could be revealed. It could be coming um, some kind of secret or some kind of information you're getting. And that could bring you to the Two of Spades, which is um, telling me... Um, there's some kind of separation loyalty issue, but it could you want to work something out diplomatically. You expect some diplomacy out of um, a situation. That's the feel I'm getting out of here. Then with the ace of um, the ace of clubs coming in, and it, this one did come into reverse. This could be saying um, um, a lack of desire, lack of motivation. Of, or you wanted to start something new, or you plan to go maybe travel, I um, or something, something with um, I think something had to do with your love situation. That's very possible. The lovers card here, there was or some kind of contract, creative project, whatever it was. There's a lack of enthusiasm maybe here, or it's going to be a little slightly delayed. That would not surprise me with um, Mercury going in retrograde at the end of the month, and we are going into a shadow period where things are starting to get a little complicated and a little bit, you know just like this card is saying so um or someone's challenging an idea you have or a thought this could also be if it's connected to love um lack of desire um or you're feeling that on the other side or some or you wanted something serious and someone may not be wanting it these are the all the feelings that just came to me about this um card so you know it depends on how it applies to you and then you got the overall energy of the four of hearts so well, this is telling me four of hearts is telling me it's um basically um happy home um feeling there's a feeling of love within you um or you're holding love for someone or you're just you're trying to decide or debate some some things that are very dear to your heart and um i think you you know you're just gonna have a little bit of you may have some no sayers about some stuff, but I think you still, this is a beautiful card and it's just saying stay steady and um, 
I think that you, I think you're on the right, your heart's in the right place. That's what the feeling I'm getting here. But, um, um, these are matter, something very important to you and it's a matter of the heart, but it, it's a good card too. It could also just say, um, the home is a little bit balanced or this is where you're finding your safe haven is your home lately. So let's pull a tarot card, see what that has to add. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. So this is saying that um, you may have some doubts or you're trying to decide upon some, um, some issues that are going on. It could be also in love, trying to make a decision about something or which way do I want to go with it? Um, is it um, prospering? Are they, am I receiving um, or am I putting in too much here? Also how you um, what public opinion may think about um, some of your ideas or things that have been going on. So this is basically like, okay, what am I going to do with um, some, whatever this is applying to you this week, it could be love, but there are changes coming in with the death card there too. So something is ending, something is coming. And then you're just saying, okay, where do I put all my, do I put all my um, eggs in one, in one basket or not? So this is what I'm kind of feeling here, but also, um, with the ace of um, spades here and um, the ace of clubs in reverse here, and it's just having doubts about some of your um, ideas or a lack of um, energy and some stuff. But this is saying that you got it, and you just have to figure out what, what's more prom, what is <clears throat> the priority here. So that's all that's coming out here on um, the gemstone readings. Usually, I'm more spiritual, and they go into um, other details and so do the coffee cup reading. So check those out. Anyway, I hope you have a fabulous week and see you next week for your reading. Please like, share, and subscribe and talk to you later. Libra. Bye.